Always look forward to this time of year when we have some of the award-winning state fair bakers in our studio to share their recipes. Dana Finley of New Albany, Indiana got the red ribbon in the gold medal, gold medal flower scratch bakers cookie challenge. This is a new competition at the fair. It is. And you have made mint julep chocolate cookies. Yes. All right, so yes. she's gonna show us how to do it. How do we get started? We got started early. Okay. We softened the butter mm -hmm. and we put brown sugar in there. Okay. So I stirred that together. I hope you have a mixer at home if you're going to make it cookies. Easier, yes. It makes it a lot easier. You can do it by hand. Grandma did it by hand for years, so it can <laughs> be done. After you mix your brown sugar and your uh, butter, then you get your flavorings. You get your teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. You get uh, a little peppermint extract. Okay. To give it that peppermint flavor. Then you add two teaspoons, or tablespoons, I mean, of bourbon. Right, because it's choice. not going to be a mint julep That's cookie right. without the julep part of not it, Not a right? mint julep That's... without the julep. All right, I'll stir for you while you dump stuff in. Does that work? I do I do the uh, easy part first, the okay. liquid thing. Right, so you get it a little bit easier to right. work together when you right. get the flour in there. Okay. A lot of cake people say put one egg in at a time, but for cookies it makes no difference. Just pour Just in the eggs. Just do it, right. right. Okay, I like the way you I like the way you bake, mm -hmm. Dana. This is going to work for me. Just it dump it all easy, in there. It is easy, right. You just put it in there. All right. Oh, I can smell the bourbon. Woo! <laughs> That'll wake you up. Then I took the time to do the flour. I put the flour in a bowl with the cocoa. Okay. I used about a half a cup of cocoa. Okay. And then I put my uh, baking powder, baking soda, mm -hmm. salt, put all that together. All right. So you do it a little bit at a time and it makes it a little easier. This is where I'm going to get the workout this, right here. This is it? the workout. You may right. need the spoon. It's okay. We'll get it working. And when we get that all stirred together, we will add our chips. Now you, you use, I, I could eat that whole bag of Andy's chips. I love those little Andy's mints, well, you know, but you I can found, buy them in chips. I yes, didn't know that. I found those uh, only at one place at Walmart. So huh, if you want okay. these chips, you'll need to go to Walmart to look for Perfect. them. Perfect. All right. And they make the whole difference in the cookie. You can use any kind of chocolate chip, a mint chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. um, but you recommend the Andes. I recommend the Andes because it's just a distinctive flavor. What, does, what inspired your recipe, Dana? Or do you uh, like mint juleps? No, <laughs> I don't. I like cookies. Yeah. And I always take cookies to meetings, to the dentist, to the doctor. Everywhere I go, I take cookies. I bet they love to see you coming. And so for a derby party, I thought I'd come up with a new cookie, and what was a go. better cookie than a mint julep? That's perfect. It's a nice way to serve the Kentucky flavor right. for folks who don't like mint julep, and there are right. a lot of folks who really don't have a taste for that. Right. The bourbon's too strong by itself. In chocolate, anything tastes good. Does the dentist take it easy on you because you show up with cookies? He loves me. He I've got to go to the dentist tomorrow. This might be my new strategy. He loves Dana Day, he calls it, because <laughs> I take him cookies. Dana Day, Dana that's Day. nice. That's now, it. Now, we'll have to add the chips, right? Whole bag? Yes, whole bag. Whole bag, all right. Don't hold back. Oh, my arm is worn I know, out. Let me this try. is a workout, all right. It is a workout. And then you say the secret to getting the cookies even perfect. and looking yes. perfect like they do on your little display tray over there is, is this scoop is the scooper and that way you have a nice uniform size for every cookie right very simple scrape it off on the side of the bowl now that doesn't look like a whole much whole bunch but that's going to turn into a good sized cookie it will expand as you bake it okay there it is that's what it looks like that's and what it looks like we've got our finished product over your there on the platter product, this right here those look wonderful congratulations Thank for winning you. the competition Thank you. My Thanks. husband says, oh my gosh, I think you're going to get second instead of first. Are you upset? I said, oh my gosh, no, second <laughs> place out of 42 cookies. That's awesome. That is impressive. Yeah, I thought well, so. We appreciate you getting up early to share the recipe with us. Thanks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And we'll post a link on our website, WDRB.com, if you want to go back and watch the segment and let Dana talk you through it so you can make these chocolate mint julep cookies at home. Thanks again, Dana. You're welcome.